Hey, you there. Yes, you. Are you struggling with accounting? Do you hate your teacher? Well, stop worrying, because we're here to help. So now you want to know how to balance the accounting equation? Well, slow your roll there, sport. You don't become as smart as Miss Lowry overnight. First, we have to know what the accounting equation is. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. This is the accounting equation. But wait, what is an asset? An asset is a resource or thing of value that is owned by a company. What are liabilities, you ask? Liabilities are obligations that a company has to pay for or make payments on. And don't forget owner's equity. Owner's equity is the difference between the value of the assets and the value of the liabilities. In other words, it's the value owned by the owners or stockholders of a company. Some examples of assets are cash, land, inventory, equipment, and accounts receivable. Some common liabilities are notes payable, accounts payable, salaries payable, and unearned revenue. Owner's equity is made up of common stock and retained earnings. Under retained earnings, you have revenue, expenses, and dividends. At this time, please pause the video and take notes on these key points. Now, what is a T-chart? In accounting, we use T-charts to show how a transaction affects each account. For example, take the cash account, which is a normal asset. For all normal assets, a debit causes them to increase and a credit causes them to decrease. Now, let's look at the notes payable account, which as you already learned, is a liability. All liabilities will increase with a credit and decrease with a debit. Now, please take a moment to pause the video and read through this example. The first step in solving a problem like this is to read through the information and separate it into distinct events. The next step is to set up your t-charts under the accounting equation. And remember, always show your work. In event one, Dakota starts his landscaping business but no transactions occur, so the accounting equation remains unaffected. In event two, Dakota takes out a note payable for $3,000. Notice how the cash account is debited, causing it to increase because it is an asset, and the notes payable account is credited, causing it to increase because it is a liability. In event three, Dakota purchases a lawn mower for $2,000 cash. Notice how this only affects the assets side of the equation, but still remains equal. In event four, Dakota provided $5,000 worth of services on account. Because the service is provided on account, the account's receivable asset is debited instead of cash, and service revenue is credited. Lastly, in event five, Dakota paid $1,000 cash in operating expenses. Notice, how the operating expense is debited to increase it even though it is on the right side of the equation. The reason for this is that expenses are a subcategory of the retained earnings account and debiting an expense account will act to decrease the retained earnings account. Now you know that some events will not affect the accounting equation, the accounting equation will always remain balanced, and for every debit there will be a credit. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more useful tips to help you pass accounting.